all the issues that piled up against Morphe plus more. Morphe has gained widespread recognition and has become an influential brand in the beauty industry, particularly in the YouTube community. They've established a strong reputation by working with well-known social media personalities. It has collaborated with a number of high-profile influencers including Maddie Ziegler, James Charles, Jeffree Star, Jacqueline Hill, Bretman Rock, and Nikita Dragon, among others. Morphe's decision to work with these influencers was a huge benefit for them. It's helped the brand, which offers affordable makeup products, achieved widespread popularity and become a billion-dollar company in no time. They were opening stores all over the country. With the influence and help of these beauty gurus, thousands of people were willing to wait for hours to buy their makeup products. Many would agree that Morphe was one of the first companies to adopt and effectively use influencer marketing. Perhaps it was a risk, but a smarter one because people were willing to buy their products because they were recommended by beauty gurus. More than five years ago, makeup was a big thing. As a matter of fact, it was the only thing that mattered. People could not stop talking about palettes, buying the latest lipstick shades, or trying new formulas. Morphe was at the epicenter of the makeup craze. Their collaboration with beauty gurus made them the top-selling makeup company. Beauty influencers did a remarkable job convincing people to buy Morphe's products. Of course, people knew that they were doing that because of commission, but a lot of them find Morphe's products really great, aside from their affordable price. People trusted these beauty gurus because they seemed to know what they were talking about. They were articulate in introducing the products and pretty persuasive in promoting them. On top of all of this, these beauty gurus were not involved yet in any controversies or drama. Morphe was one of the reasons why they became so famous. As time passed, some people began to question the level of involvement of certain influencers with Morphe, particularly Jacqueline Hill and Jeffree Star, who were rumored to have executive roles in the company. There were accusations that they may have been co-owners of the brand. Tati Westbrook also claimed that Jeffrey was a co-owner of the brand. Jeffrey had never given any confirmation about this detail. Morphe's close association with influencers was instrumental in the company's success, but it also contributed to its downfall. The brand faced controversy and negative publicity due to drama and accusations involving some of the influencers it worked with. When James Charles and Jeffree Star were in controversy, people started backlashing them and Morphe. They were boycotting the influencers as well as the company. Morphe's and those associated with the brand's popularity suffered as a result. It seemed that the company has struggled to fully recover from these events. Morphe has attempted to maintain its success by collaborating with other influencers and celebrities, but these efforts have not been as successful as its earlier partnerships. No matter what they did, their image became less and less popular and favorable. Perhaps people started to see that everything they did was for profit all along. In the past year, the brand has faced several lawsuits, which have had a significant impact on the company. A class action lawsuit has been filed in California against Morphe Cosmetics by three consumers who claim that the company's eyeshadows, which contain unimproved colors for use around the eyes, caused physical injury. The plaintiffs were seeking to represent consumers nationwide and are alleging breach of warranties, negligence, false advertising, and other claims. According to the lawsuit, the use of certain Morphe cosmetics around the eyes can lead to severe irritation, skin discoloration, and staining, rashes, allergic reactions, and other painful, embarrassing conditions that may last for several days. Also, the company was accused of promoting and advertising the use of its products in the eye area without warning consumers of the potential dangers. Consumers felt that they had been cheated because they bought the makeup knowing it was safe. The case alleged that Morphe referred to some of its eyeshadow products as artistry palettes or pressed pigments in an attempt to avoid responsibility for marketing the makeup as eyeshadow. The suit claimed that this use of these terms is confusing and potentially dangerous as pressed pigments were essentially the same as eyeshadow and were intended for use on the eye area. One of the plaintiffs claimed to have experienced skin staining after using Morphe eyeshadow. The plaintiff repeatedly scrubbed her eyelids and eye area with makeup remover, but it did not remove the stains or discoloration the products caused. When the plaintiff woke up the following morning, her eyelids and general eye area were still stained and inflamed as a result of using Morphe eye makeup. Another plaintiff reported experiencing skin staining as a result of using various Morphe products, including the Morphe 35O, Morphe 35M, Morphe 35W, Morphe 9C, and Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palettes. 
More lawsuits were filed against the company. Last month, Shelby Wilde, the founder of the hair care brand Playa, sued Morphe and its majority owner, the private equity firm General Atlantic, in a New York State court. Wilde allegedly claimed that the companies did not provide sufficient support for her brand after acquiring it in 2020. Shelby Wilde's brand Playa was acquired by Morphe in 2020 along with several other brands after Generic Atlantic acquired a majority stake in the retailer in the summer of 2019. Around the same time that Playa deal closed, the portfolio of brands was relaunched as Former Brands, a beauty incubator designed to turn new businesses into major players in their industry. At the time of the acquisition, Playa was a small but quickly growing brand that was sold at Sephora and had received positive reviews in various publications. Many believe that the consecutive lawsuits against Morphe would lead to their end. It looked like it's happening now because Morphe was silently closing several of their stores last year. To make matters worse, the employees were unaware of what was happening. They had no idea and no clue that the place they had been working for the past few months was closing down its business. Many of their store managers and employees turned to social media to reveal the truth about the company's treatment of them. They said that the company never initiated contact with them throughout the process of closing down. Several of them had been informed that the stores would permanently stay out of business just days before the actual closing date. Morphe employees were caught off guard by the store closures because they were given only a few days' notices rather than the typical three weeks' notice. It is stated that the employees were shocked that Morphe would take such action without any advance warning. According to multiple videos posted on TikTok by users who claim to be Morphe employees, there have been significant sales and inventory shortages at the stores where they work since late December. In a video posted by makeup artist Sydney Kayla, who claimed to work at a Morphe location in Arizona, she stated that she arrived for her shift to find the store empty. There was nothing left on the display shelves except for some foundations. Danny Garza, a former Morphe employee, claimed that she worked at a Morphe location in Austin, Texas since August 2021 and was eventually promoted from assistant manager to store manager. She said that on December 22, she and her team were informed via Zoom that their last day of work would be December 26. She said, It completely shook us and honestly ruined all of our holidays. None of us felt good because we knew that after Christmas, we just didn't have jobs. She also revealed that Morphe has been offering major sales since she began working at the store, with the discounts increasing over time. She added that the frequent sales and discounts at Morphe were not typical prior to the pandemic, and the lack of inventory was also concerning. She said that her store usually received shipments every week or two weeks, depending on the season, but in December 2022, these shipments stopped. A lot of people commented that Morphe was just heartless, laying off people during the holidays. It should be a time of celebration, but because of what they did, a lot of their employees would not enjoy the holidays and would end up looking for jobs. Some thought that Morphe would have handled their closure professionally and formally. They should have told all their employees about the real situation. The company should have given their employees several weeks' notice before their closure to give them enough time to look for another job. People were calling out Morphe to explain what was happening. On January 5, the Morphe released a statement about the issue on Twitter. They confirmed that their stores were closing. We have made the difficult decision to close all Morphe stores in the U.S. We are forever grateful to our store teams for their passion, talent, and dedication over the years. Customers can continue to shop Morphe online and at select retailers. Morphe stores outside the U.S. will remain open. It was clear to everyone now that Morphe would be out of business for good. Many believe that this was due to a big change in the makeup industry. Makeup is less popular than it was before. People did not care so much about makeup anymore. A spokesperson for the company had made a statement in one interview. The spokesperson said, Following a careful evaluation of all aspects of our business, we've made a strategic decision to enhance our focus on the company's wholesale and e-commerce operations going forward. We believe this shift will position Morphe to better compete in the broader beauty landscape and more efficiently reach our customers where and how they shop. Connecting with consumers around the world through beauty stands at the center of everything we do. And while we have loved welcoming customers into our stores, we look forward to focusing on the foundational areas of our business, including our wholesale partnerships, robust e-commerce footprint, and innovative brand marketing strategy. Big companies like Morphe have had a hard time keeping up with time and trends. Even if people saw the end of Morphe happening, a lot was still surprised when they chose to close rather than innovate. So what do you think of Morphe's treatment of their employees? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.